The War in Heaven may sound like the plot of a thrilling Christian tale or a nostalgic comic book series. However, in the book of Revelation in the Bible, it's a pivotal event with profound implications for God, humanity, and everything in between. This conflict is a major showdown with far-reaching consequences, but what exactly does it entail? In Revelation 12, 7, 10, John describes a celestial battle where Michael the archangel and his angels engage in combat with the dragon, identified as the ancient serpent, the devil, and Satan. The outcome of this clash reverberates throughout spiritual realms, with the dragon and his followers being cast down to earth, symbolizing their expulsion from the divine presence. This cosmic conflict, though depicted in symbolic language, underscores the perpetual struggle between good and evil, impacting humanity's spiritual journey. Throughout the Bible, various references shed light on the spiritual warfare and the entities involved. From Ezekiel's portrayal of Lucifer's fall from grace to Jesus' declaration of witnessing Satan's descent like lightning, the scriptures emphasize the ongoing battle between the forces of light and darkness. Satan, depicted as the accuser and deceiver, orchestrates opposition against believers, utilizing fallen angels and demonic entities to thwart God's purposes. However, Amidst this spiritual turmoil, there's assurance of divine victory, exemplified by Christ's triumph over all opposing forces. The believer's empowerment lies in recognizing the spiritual realm's realities, understanding the adversary's tactics, and relying on God's strength to prevail against evil. Through obedience, faith, and unwavering devotion to God, believers navigate this spiritual battlefield, assured of ultimate victory through Christ's redemptive work on the cross. Thus, comprehending the nature of this cosmic conflict equips believers to stand firm in their faith and resist the schemes of the enemy, ultimately contributing to the fulfillment of God's kingdom on earth. Aligning oneself with the enemy is akin to setting up for inevitable defeat, akin to a military strategist meticulously planning every move before engaging in battle. Just as a general gathers intelligence, analyzes the opponent's weaknesses, and strategically positions troops, Believers are urged to remain vigilant against the wiles of the devil, recognizing that the true adversary is not of flesh and blood, but the spiritual forces of darkness. The devil, portrayed as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour, employs his minions to ensnare and destroy those who resist him. However, believers find strength in their liberation through the transformative power of God's Spirit, a force beyond Satan's reach. Biblical References such as Paul's exhortation in Ephesians 6.12 and the imagery in Revelation 12.11, illustrate the triumph of believers over the enemy through the blood of the Lamb and the testimony of their faith. In the hierarchy of celestial beings, the Archangel Michael emerges as a prominent figure, symbolizing leadership and strength among the heavenly hosts. Described as the foremost Prince of Heaven and a defender of God's people, Michael assumes a pivotal role in the cosmic struggle against darkness. Scriptural accounts, including Jude 1.9 and Revelation 12.7.9, depict Michael's confrontations with Satan and his demons, culminating in the ultimate victory foretold in the book of Revelation. As the final battle looms, Michael stands as a beacon of hope, heralding the return of Christ and the ultimate defeat of evil. Despite the mystery surrounding angelic affairs and the nature of sin, Believers find assurance in the unwavering power of God, who orchestrates the triumph of light over darkness and the eventual restoration of divine order. In biblical theology, Satan's access to God's presence is limited and regulated. He cannot enter God's presence at will, rather, God must summon him, and even then his visits are brief. These encounters maintain the purity of heaven, as Satan is confined by God's rules during his time before God's throne. This arrangement persists until the final judgment, after which a new heaven and earth are established, as described in Revelation 21:14. This renewal signifies the eradication of sin, ensuring the eternal sanctity of God's dwelling place. Despite Satan's presence before God, his actions do not compromise God's holiness, as God's purity ultimately triumphs over sin. In biblical narrative, Satan emerges as a formidable adversary of God and humanity. He is depicted as the antagonist who deceives Eve in the Garden of Eden, leading to the fall of humanity Genesis 3:16. 6 
Throughout scripture, Satan is portrayed as a murderer and the father of lies, spreading false teachings and ensnaring those who reject God, John 8, 44, 2 Corinthians 4, 4. Despite misconceptions, the Bible clarifies that Satan is not equivalent to God in power, nor does he control hell. Instead, hell is his destined punishment, and he retains limited access to heaven and the earth, Matthew 25, 41, Job 1, 6, 7. Satan's influence extends to the world, where he exercises control, but his reign is temporary, destined to be vanquished by Jesus Christ, John 12, 31, 1, John 5, 19. Christians are urged to remain vigilant against his schemes, finding assurance in the victory of Jesus over Satan's wickedness, 1 Peter 5, 8, John 16, 33. Through Jesus, believers find redemption and forgiveness, countering Satan's lies with the truth of Christ's sacrifice, 1 John 2, 1, 2. In John 8, 32, Jesus proclaims, you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. This verse encapsulates the essence of spiritual liberation through knowledge of the truth. It suggests that understanding reality, particularly spiritual truths, leads to freedom from the shackles of ignorance and falsehood. This concept is profoundly echoed throughout the Bible, emphasizing the transformative power of truth in setting individuals free from spiritual bondage and deception. Ezekiel 28, 14, 16 provides further insight into the fall of Lucifer depicting him as a majestic being once entrusted with divine responsibilities. However, his pride and desire for supremacy led to his downfall. The passage metaphorically describes Lucifer's role in instigating rebellion among the angels, employing tactics akin to modern-day lobbying or campaigning by enticing others with flattery and lies. This imagery sheds light on the nature of spiritual warfare and the seductive allure of falsehood. Lucifer's fall serves as a cautionary tale, warning against the perils of pride and the deceptive nature of evil. The biblical references further elucidate Satan's character and influence. In Luke 10, 18, Jesus recounts seeing Satan fall from heaven like lightning, symbolizing his expulsion from divine grace. Matthew 12, 26 acknowledges Satan's kingdom, indicating his dominion over the world and its systems. Additionally, Matthew 13, 38 portrays Satan as the adversary responsible for sowing weeds among the wheat, symbolizing the presence of evil amidst the righteous. Despite Satan's temporary reign, the Bible assures believers of his eventual defeat and the triumph of truth and righteousness. Thus, in studying these passages, believers gain insight into the spiritual battle between good and evil and the enduring power of divine truth to overcome darkness. If you found this video enjoyable, please consider liking and sharing it. Additionally, subscribing to this channel will ensure that you receive more updates in the future. Thank you.